Hey guys, what's up? So this is the first time I saw this, but it's a uh, it's a mini one two uh, eight six four uh, display, a Marlin display for a three D printer, and I actually I currently have one from a different brand by Fist Tech, and that was the first company I ever saw that made one of these. So that was interesting. I actually saw that Big Tree Tech actually came out with their own. So I don't know what the differences are between the two, but they look almost identical. Um, let's open this up real fast. But this is a Big Tree Tech version of the. Uh, same board but yeah I, I can't stand these these color LCDs they don't do anything I gotta replace the fan in this thing yeah they're cool they look great but they don't interface with Marlin so you can't really mess with the baby stepping or you can't control your trinamic drivers the currents e-steps it's just basically a mini computer that sends G-code to Marlin it's almost just like a, connecting via a COM port or like a USB port you know, sending G-code that way. So it's not a real screen that interfaces with Marlin. Yeah, like I said, it's a color touch screen, but it doesn't do that. So I don't even use it. I mean, I use uh, my Octoprint anyways to, to control this thing. But I do actually use this for a lot of the stuff, like when I'm first setting up Baby Z, stepping. So I just actually like the, these the screens because they were so, uh, they were so small. You know, they're tiny compared to like, the other ones. But they're also RGB too, so they got some pretty cool features. I mean, I really don't care about the color. I just like them because they were uh, tiny. So I'm going to take off this uh, old color one. Yeah, because when it first came out, yeah, I thought it was cool. I'd love to have it. But then I realized it doesn't do anything, you know. It's just really a waste of space. You know, good, good luck trying to set your offset with that thing. So, all right, so. All right, so I've already printed out a case for this thing. It's somewhere around here. Um, Alright, so I'm going to get this thing actually mounted, I'm going to take off my old LCD, and then I'm also going to have to switch the cables over, because this actually, as far as I remember, actually runs a dual cable. Um, and it's going to hook up to my, uh, I'm actually on this, on that one I'm actually running an SKR 1.4 board, and this one's running an SKR 1.3 board. Uh, they're both running Tranamac drivers, this one's running 22.8s, that one's running 22.9s. So that's, that's actually the, the newer board. So... But this is actually still my, this old printer bot is still my favorite printer. Just prints, prints incredible. So, I mean, obviously lots of upgrades, the uh, extruder, a lot of different stuff, but, all right, so I'm gonna get this going. And I'll show you in Marlin how I get it done in the end of the video. All right, so here's a pretty cool little box I printed out. I actually didn't design this one, but it looks pretty cool. Um, it just goes right there like that. All right, so I gotta take off my old uh, screen here. So this actually, the display doesn't even connect the same way. This connects actually to a COM port, where it's actually, this goes to actually a Marlin port. So if you don't define this in Marlin, uh, most likely you're going to get a beep or your thing won't even fire up. So this, ha this has, to, has to be defined in Marlin before you can even fire it up. I decided to move the screen a little bit further down this time, just because you can see I get a lot of hairspray in this stuff. You know, I'm hitting this hairspray with this thing. But, just to show you that you probably need to go to Marlin to configure this thing. See, it's not empowered. All right, so we're going to Marlin, get this thing configured, come back. All right, so let's load the firmware and see what happens. I'm actually right now I'm just running the generic one. It looks like it's the in the most similar to the 2.1 with the, with the NeoPixel. Oh, I already have an SD card in there. So, I don't know for sure. So let's gonna update the firmware, and we'll see the same time online. Ah, there it goes. It's coming online now, but it's not very, uh, not very dark. Yeah, I can't see it. So I actually have to. Uh, I, I think it is the. Uh, I gotta change the contrast. I think there's a way you can do that in Marlin, but it does work. So. All right. All right, got it to go. This is sort of a headache, more of a headache LCD. Because I actually have to deal with NeoPixel. That was a NeoPixel. Um, I actually, I looked, I took them apart and I compared the two PCBs or the two boards. And they actually were identical. So the Big Tree Tech 1.0 is a FYS Tech, I don't even can't even pronounce that, is a 2.1 board. So you got to define it as 2.1. Go back into Marlin show it to you. Um, and all the different things I had to do to get it to work. So 
this is definitely not the easiest LCD to get working, but it's cool. So some of the features you can do um, for configuration um, and settings, the velocity jerk. You can't do that in a normal like touchscreen LCD. Uh, TMC drivers, that's trinamic drivers. You can mess with the driver current. Since I just had to reset the configuration back to 800. Yeah, but you don't want to overdrive your steppers because it'll actually run hot, hotter than I need to. Alright, um, just like these steps, I mean, you're actually directly interfacing with, um, you know, with Marlin. Whereas that LCD, the touchscreen, it's actually a computer sending G code. It's actually not interfacing with the, the firmware. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go to uh, Marlin, take a look. Alright, here we are at Marlin. So it's pretty basic. Just, uh, just do a search for 12864. And that's going to bring you down to this right here. And you want to define it as an FYSETC -E -E mini. Uh, it's, a, it's a version 2.1. Um, like I said, I compared the two PCBs and they're exactly the same. So a big tree track version 1 is identical to this other 2.1 board. So that's why you got to actually define this. And then in the configuration.h, you have to enable uh, NeoPixel here. So just look at this configuration here, and that's what I got it to work. I mean, you can mess with this and change the colors, the default colors, but to me, the colors don't really matter. I just like the screen. Um, but uh, pretty basic. Just compile this and upload it, and your screen should work. All right, cool.